There's a flash flood of human misery flowing down this swollen river deep in the Darien Gap, that lawless jungle region between Colombia and Panama. Rarely seen numbers of migrants from across the globe are taking their chances on the six-day walk through Hello. the jungle, heading for the U.S. Many of them never make it out alive. Bajo Chiquito is the last outpost of civilization between Panama and Colombia. The lifestyle of the Embera Indians who make their lives here hasn't changed much in hundreds of years. They still rely on the river for everything from food to transport. With no running water or electricity, the one thing this village has is too many visitors. Migrants emerge from the jungle in small groups throughout the day. Exhausted, sick, and injured, suffering everything from parasites to trench foot. It's a three-hour ride upriver to the village in a dugout canoe. And on the way, you get a sense of the scope of the problem. So we're still about 45 minutes away from Bajo Chiquito, and we're being passed by hundreds of migrants heading down to the next camp closer to the Pan American Highway. Looks like most of them are probably Haitian or Cuban. By the time we got to the village, more migrants had already replaced the ones we passed on the river. More than 300 people per day are arriving at Bajo Chiquito, and the volunteer medics working in the village are completely overwhelmed. So is the city's rudimentary sewer. The entire village smells like human waste. We have no electricity here. Look how we are living. The migrants keep coming, more every day. We are in a very difficult position. Also on this trip, Wisconsin Congressman Tom Tiffany. Well, the reason I went both to the Rio Grande and now down to Panama is I wanted to see it for myself, to see if it was as bad as what was being represented. When I went to the Rio Grande, it was clearly worse. And it's happening down here also in the Darien Gap. This is an incredibly arduous journey that people are going through the jungle in order to get here. And I mean, we see it right here. People's feet torn up, being carted around in a wheelbarrow. It is awful what is going on and there's no reason for it. The horror stories that I'm hearing from the people coming through here as they step out of the jungle, they're just literally stepping out. They're finishing their walk right this minute as they come out of the jungle. And they're limping their way in, literally, in very bad shape. And they're all telling me there's so many people dying. There's so many people that are dying out here. They have a population of almost 500 people. They've had over a thousand migrants at a time that have been going through here. And it's completely disrupted this community. This is a crazy thing. I'm seeing it, gracias. I'm seeing these, hearing these stories from these Haitians, but they're not coming from Haiti. They're coming from all over the place. They're coming from Chile, Peru. That guy said he spent eight years in Brazil. So obviously, they're making a life in Brazil. They're making a life in Peru. It's better than Haiti. They're not being persecuted there, but they've decided that now is the time to go to the United States. And the question is why? It can be stopped if the Biden administration would just say, okay, we're gonna reverse what we did back on January 20th. We're gonna secure the border once again, because that's what's unleashed this. And it's overwhelmed this community of Bajo Chiquito that we're in right now. From Panama's Darien Gap, I'm Chuck Holton for CBN News.